everybody welcome back to my channel it's lovely to see you all i can't believe it's been a hot minute since i recorded a video like that like wow it's it's probably been at least like two months yeah since i just sat and talked to you guys so you know when thinking about what kind of videos i want to make in 2021 I thought I'd start the year with a bang <laughs> and um, as you can already tell from the title I'm starting my new series called University in Review and this is um, a series dedicated to my university NYU Abu Dhabi is basically the same idea I had about half a year ago when I initially recorded one big university review video where I touched upon um, all areas of life at NYU Abu Dhabi and my experience regarding those areas but I thought that the video just became like too surface level and too long so I decided to split it into very digestible chunks each covering uh, the respective areas of life at NYU Abu Dhabi what goes into being an NYU Abu Dhabi student just kind of like try to be that friend in your life that gives you advice as to whether you should attend NYU Abu Dhabi or not. Today I'm going to cover academics, very very important part of your university experience, um, something that can just make it or break it um, and obviously that's something that you go to university for. I'm gonna answer all of your burning questions as to is Academics at NYU Abu Dhabi as good as it sounds? <laughs> Should you commit uh, to NYU Abu Dhabi just based, based on its academics? What things should you think about uh, before you commit to NYU AD? And just my honest experience of um, being an econ major. Yeah, so without further ado, let's begin. <laughs> All right, so the first feature of academics at NYU Abu Dhabi is the philosophy behind its education. And you would probably already know that NYU AD is a liberal arts college. And what does liberal arts college really mean, you might ask? Um, liberal arts refers to colleges that aim to create um, a broad base of knowledge as well as develop general intellectual capabilities through their educational model. And in NYU Abu Dhabi, it manifests itself in, on top of you having to learn the specifics of your major, you also have to take courses from the core curriculum. And the core curriculum in itself gives you that broader, more general understanding of the world and normally covers topics like global challenges, such as um, equality, peace, uh, sustainability, um, health and so on and so forth. And of course, liberal arts education has its pros and its cons. And let me just list you the pros. So the pros of a liberal arts education is the fact that you get exposure to different topics, right? So in my four years at NYU Abu Dhabi, I learned about computer science, um, history and environmentalism, climate change, as well as art. And these are the sort of things that I just never expected myself to learn, given the fact that um, I pretty much already knew that I wanted to do economics uh, when I started college. However, on that note, something that I forgot to mention in the beginning is the fact that um, NYU AD is quite flexible when it comes to you choosing your major. So there are many, many times where I hear a question of like, um, so what exam should I take if I want to major in this, you know, before I apply to NYU Abu Dhabi? And I answer, you don't have to take any particular exams for any particular major. Um, That's because NYU Abu Dhabi allows you to choose your major in the middle of your second year. Even if you determine that you say you want to study engineering in your first month at NYU Abu Dhabi and you go on the portal and declare it, you're still reflected as undecided until you have to officially redeclare it in the middle of your second year. So that gives you lots and lots of time to experiment with your courses, to really understand and narrow down what you want to do as your major and what is something that you're so interested in that you want to 
basically dedicate the next three years of your life to. And yeah, yeah. So I think that is a really good pro. And um, even though I knew that I wanted to study economics, I still allowed myself some space um, to evaluate other disciplines and whether I want to pursue them in my undergrad career. And of course, when you're exploring, you might as well stumble um, across your passion. So there are so many people at NYU Abu Dhabi that start off thinking that they want to major in engineering and somehow end up in like computer science or econ or theater. Yeah, and most of them really, really enjoy it um, in the end and they believe that they made a good decision. And the third and last pro of the liberal arts model and like taking core curriculum courses is the fact that you meet different people. Now, NYU Abu Dhabi is already quite a small campus, uh, but still, um, taking these courses just gives you exposure to people with different passions, with different ideas, and um, allows you to just think outside the box. Uh, as cliche as it sounds, it's actually really true. All right, and moving on to the cons. Sometimes the program that you might be in, and this is particularly regarding like some science programs and engineering programs, can be so tight and so packed with the requirements that you have to complete sometimes in like a particular semester or have to do a number of them in that semester that you just don't have the time to explore what you actually might be interested beyond your major. And that's because the core courses might take up that space that you would actually probably prefer to dedicate to some elective in like a very you know particular subject that you might have interest in and not all core courses are going to be able to cover that subject to you know that degree and the second con is that some of these courses can sometimes be quite vague and quite poorly prepared by the professors because they might not be directly in their line of research and might have to have some certain requirements that the professor has to implement that um, in the end the topic is neither interesting to the professor nor to the students so some core courses end up being quite boring or just there's like too much water in them that you just don't feel like you're learning anything all right we're moving on to majors and minors which is probably like the most considered topic before people commit to university, which makes total sense because some people really know what they want to do and not all universities are, you know, able to provide that. But, but having said that, NYU Abu Dhabi is a small college. It's only 10 years old. And um, as a consequence of that, the number of majors is also limited. So as of now, we have about 25 majors in four different disciplines, right? Four major divisions. So arts and humanities, engineering, sciences, and social sciences. And before I kind of dive in further into the majors, I just want to deliver like a punchline for basically each of um, the divisions and what their strengths and weaknesses are. So. Arts and Humanities is abundant in resources uh, for a small number of students and it has outstanding facilities. So moving on to engineering, um, there's a large number of students, um, resources are more competitive and the academic program is poorly structured. Now, I can't say that for all engineering majors um, because they've recently added bioengineering into the curriculum, which I'm actually quite excited about. I think it's like <laughs> brought in by popular demand. Many people wanted to do some sort of like a cross between engineering and biology. Um, so it's exciting that they do that. However, most engineering courses tend to be quite heavy, as I said, with requirements. They, people don't really have time or space to study something else and many of these people actually sometimes struggle to have a social life as well because of how much work they need to do. 
All right, moving on to the sciences. All right, so sciences have a strong program with loads of research opportunities. That is to say, pretty much everything except for psychology. Psychology is the major that I think receives the least attention at NYU Abu Dhabi, which is really sad because there's a growing number of students that want to choose psychology as their major. So I'm really hoping that they're gonna rectify that at some point. And then last but not least is the social sciences, where we've got strong programs with the most flexibility to do electives, electives and cross-disciplinary courses. Um, and yeah, like I think social sciences are probably among the most just free and freeing programs um, and they are also they also contain the greatest number of graduates per year yeah and as i already touched on bioengineering earlier i just wanted to mention that in the past year and a half um, nyu abu dhabi expanded their academic offerings to include legal studies as a major interactive media um, as well as bioengineering the first two of which are multidisciplinary majors and they are quite they're just quite interesting subjects to study so it's very nice to see that the university is trying to accommodate a growing student body according to you know their recent resources and offering a greater number of these majors because when i started we only had 22 all right so since i just talked about majors, I'm going to also mention minors. There's like a great deal of minors out there at NYU Abu Dhabi. And the greatest thing about minors at NYU AD is that if you don't have a minor um, that you can complete in Abu Dhabi, uh, you would probably be able to finish it elsewhere. That's when the strength of um, the study away programs at NYU Abu Dhabi really kicks in because you know, some people want to minor, say, in like business studies or something like that. And that's just not something that NYU AD is um, able to offer, given how many or how little professors there are teaching um, these particular subjects and how little they uh, kind of focus on that in their research. All right, so let's talk about the most anticipated subject of this video. My life, my soul my everything, economics. <laughs> oh, I'm joking, of course. Um, but I think it's important to give you an example of um, how an NYU AD major looks like from somebody who studied it and give you like a little tiny mini review of the major. So things that I can definitely say about the econ major at NYU AD is the fact that it's a well-structured program with loads of space to fill it up with electives and do whatever you want to do in your free time. So that's a huge, huge plus because sometimes that space just lets you, for instance, under a load in a semester and pr pursue some like industry opportunity, um, part-time of course, while studying, or just take courses in subjects that like interested you before, but you couldn't do it because you were, you know, checking in requirements but anyway so it's a spacious let me let me call it like this it's, it's a spacious major with um lots of opportunity for you to even do a double major or like three minors on the side and the major is very academic um very very academic i think that's why it's called economics because uh, it's essentially designed to give that fundamental understanding of economics as like a science and it covers lots of theoretical areas like microeconomics macroeconomics and international economics and all that stuff which i think for people who really want to uh, pursue research after they graduate or who want to go to, into academia and teach it's it's excellent uh, because the professors that are teaching it are top notch. They're like, they're publishing cutting edge research. They're really knowledgeable and they also have lots of connections and opportunities in, in the field. 
However, if you're like me, and there are quite a few people like me in my major that just want to go into industry, uh, but they also want to have like a good um, background in understanding the industry that they're heading into, such as like consulting, finance. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so in that respect, um, the econ major doesn't necessarily provide you with enough applied knowledge for you to actually be able to use um, in your job. But as I mentioned before um, about minors, it is also possible to kind of customize this major or, you know, pretty much any other more or less flexible major at NYU Abu Dhabi towards your needs through your study away choices. So I, for one, went to London and uh, New York. And whilst London was just more like um, a fun semester with lots of like fun electives, um, NYU New York, and only NYU Abu Dhabi students say that actually, NYU New York. Yeah, um, the New York campus was able to give me the knowledge that I actually really, really enjoyed. So I went to NYU Stern when I did my semester in, in New York. And the courses that I took were just like fantastic. They were so well made, they were so like interesting and entertaining and the professors were prepared like to the T all the time. Um, it was actually really, really nice. And I see why people pay so much for that education. <laughs> all right, for this section, the pros. <laughs> the number one pro is that no matter what major you choose, there's going to be lots and lots of resources for you to take advantage of. <clears throat> Something that NYU Abu Dhabi is really abundant in is the resources for their students. May it be people such as faculty and staff or facilities that, you know, I would also mention in a like completely separate video. So the second pro is um, the fact that like, no matter what you study, you're pretty, you're pretty much guaranteed to come across some really interesting content delivered by professors who could have as well discovered it. And then the cons. So the cons are there are only 25 majors, right? So if you want to study, say, architecture, you won't be able to do that. Um, and then the second con is the fact that some of the programs are poorly structured and they don't let you take advantage of that uh, liberal arts model. All right, and the third, the subject that I already mentioned like 50 times in the past two sections, it is... The NYUAD faculty and NYUAD Research Institute. So, I've already said it like multiple times. It is true, it is a factual information <laughs> that NYU Abu Dhabi faculty are very competent. If you ever look at their resume, you think, yo, I must be very lucky to be here because my accolades in no way match the accolades of these people because the people would be like, having studied like at Harvard, Princeton, um, and then went on to do loads of research and publish great papers, and now they're here teaching you, and you're like, wow, I can take advantage of that. I can really learn about my field. That's awesome. Um, so they're very competent, and you really shouldn't doubt the intellectual abilities of the people that are teaching you at NYUAD, because, hell, they're really smart. <laughs> um, Student-to-faculty ratio at NYUAD. And why should you really care about the student-to-faculty ratio? It is advantageous insofar as you're really able to get to know the professors personally and in some sense take advantage not only of their knowledge but also sometimes of their own net like many instances in which uh, students have created really personal relationships with their faculty and became friends and mentors that I think is that I think is really nice especially when you know that this person is very knowledgeable in what they're doing. Another thing to consider when you're going to NYU AD is NYU Abu Dhabi positions itself as a research university um, because it even has a research institute, which holds like 
events and talks on like the latest research published by either our professors or uh, professors of other colleges that just come and present it here. But um, yeah, so if your university is a research university, it means that the professors um, to get their tenure, they their main requirement is to publish papers. Teaching is sort of like their side job. And there have been cases where DAs did a much, much better job at teaching, actually teaching the students than the professors ever did. The professors just like would be disorganized when they come to class. They wouldn't really uh, know how to teach or they would teach something and it just like they would explain something and it wouldn't make sense and you'd ask them a question they wouldn't like they would explain it in such a convoluted way that it just creates like a hundred more questions and then at the end of the day guess what you will have to write a test or some sort of paper or like do something to prove that you actually know the material and sometimes it can be quite scary because it also affects your own future yeah and i think that actually wraps up my <laughs> faculty section. So I think the this entire section was just kind of like a pro and a con. So I'm not going to do the pros and cons of it. Instead, I'm going to move on to the last section, the last two evaluative sections as to whether you should choose NYOBW or not. All right, and the most important question of the day is, is NYUAD worth it? Why should you choose NYU Abu Dhabi? All right, point number one, excellent academics, small faculty to student ratio, as well as resource availability, make it an unparalleled educational experience. Number two, if you are undecided, the flexibility of choosing your major whenever you want, as well as the study away opportunities, customize your major the way you want, make it very likely that you're going to be satisfied with what you chose by the time you graduate. And number three, the close-knit community helps form solid connections with faculty and staff on campus and can benefit your career in the future, whether you choose academics or industry. <sighs> Maybe not. Why you shouldn't choose NYU Abu Dhabi? Point number one, if you already know what you want to do, say medicine or architecture, or honestly, in some cases, even engineering, that is not available at NYUAD, then it is obvious that NYUAD would not be your choice. Number two, if you don't really care about the liberal arts education and want to have more time and space to specifically study the area of choice, then NYU Abu Dhabi might not be for you. And number three, and this is the most controversial and arguable, is if you already have an offer of acceptance from, say, an Ivy League school, a very loud name like Yale or Harvard or Brown or whatever, in a good program, then you might want to choose that over NYU Abu Dhabi because at the end of the day, the clout and the reputation of the centuries old university is going to give you a bigger advantage when you, you know, in your career after you graduate, no matter how good your knowledge is. It's going to take NYU Abu Dhabi years and years of continuous educational and research excellence as well as years of like academic success and um, postgraduate success of their students to build up a reputation to the level of the ivies or oxbridge so you might just be better off accepting the offer and pursuing a degree in those universities because by the time you graduate unfortunately so a name on your resume in many cases is going to matter a lot more uh, when you apply for a job than your actual knowledge. Uh, in the beginning stage, it's very hard 
for people from smaller universities to be even noticed amongst the sea of applicants for like a particular industry role or even a place um, in the university um, that NYU Abu Dhabi is just not going to be able to give you as much of a bump as like going to an Ivy League school is. So yeah, that was a very long video um, and I really, I really appreciate if you stayed until the end and listened to the entirety of it. This was my assessment of academics at NYU Abu Dhabi and if you have any questions or any suggestions for the next upcoming videos of the same series, then please do comment down below. They really help me navigate and structure my next videos in the way that fits you the most and benefits you the most. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was able to inform you to at least some extent as to your university choices. And, and yeah, thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.